Hey you guys again, so this is my second vlog of the day and I shall tell you why I feel inspired to do this vlog is because I have been surfing YouTube and I saw that there's quite a lot of uh, bloggers who got tagged by the uh, things I regret buying tag so I'm gonna show you some of the stuff which I regretted having or regretted buying some of them were gifted to me by Jay and I, I regret that I took them over from Jay. Um, without further ado, let's start with the first item in um, this tag. The stuff I regret buying or you know, regret taking over kind. First thing is this uh, quad palette by MAC. The reason why I took this over from her is because I thought that they are really pretty colours but the fact of the matter is that with MAC quads, uh, eyeshadow quads, they really are not worth the value. I would rather get the um, eyeshadow pots that they come with individual colors. Reason because these are formulated differently, I guess, and they are not highly pigmented at all. As in, like when you swatch it, it pretty much come out as a very light color. It doesn't transfer well. It doesn't like coat your brushes at all it's really difficult to get the color onto your brushes and and even onto your fingers for an application on your lids which most um good brands they tend to be highly pigmented and you know when you dab your fingers onto the palette itself it comes off but this is sorely disappointing the color doesn't show up at all and i really would not recommend people to get like mac quartz um, unless they really want to or rather if it is a limited edition where you know you really can't get colors anywhere else and you're really desperate and I don't know I just don't like the formula I don't like the colors um, not visually but when it is like transferred or something and that's the reason why this quad looks as good as new because it's almost impossible to create a look out of it so I was planning to depot this sometime if I can and replace them with like depotted MAC eyeshadows which I would love and use I think that that would be a better idea than to have something which I don't like yeah so this is pretty much it about this MAC quartz and um, Temptilia did this review about um, some MAC quartz also which she gave a rating F so really I don't think you should go for MAC quartz you'll be better off getting the uh, eyeshadow pots on itself okay so that's that second thing that I regret buying is actually this thing by Maybelline I think I've shown you guys some time before this is 720 pearly pink and I believe this is the latest one that they have out which is um, the pearl collection reason why I don't like this is because of how it feels on your lips like some lipsticks give you that really moisturizing and loving feel to your lips like it really conditions it gives you color and everything at once but this one, it really feels like you have to press on really hard to get the color to transfer to your lips. Um, I don't care for this lipstick at all. Really. And the color is really light. Um, it's largely my fault because I really want a pink lipstick. I was in that pink craze. And if you can see my, thing, uh, my hands here, this, this one... Oh man, you can't see, but you know, the one that is beside the red, that is the color. And it's too light for me, as you can see. You can't really, can't really see it at all. Disappointing buy. Really disappointing. I heard that Priceline has this policy now that you can actually trade in those lippies or whatever that you don't fancy for another, like, makeup. So... I'm probably gonna treat this in and that's gonna be the last time you'll ever see of that 
Maybelline lippy that I have. Okay, the next one is actually um, given to me by Jay. This is the L'Oreal one and the color is um, 643 uh, Red Passion. Red Passion, sorry about that. And this is the one that is this red that you see here right now. And as compared to the other red which I have, that's by MAC Ladybug. Can you see how red it is? doesn't compliment me at all and it is so red that um, my boss once commented that you know totally like red lips not doing it for me um, I know everyone should try to make a red lip you know look work for you but this red is way red I mean I would prefer ladybug as you can see maybe it has a bluish tinge to it so it's like kind of nice but anyway doesn't work for me at all the next thing I regret buying is can make um, eyeshadow base I always forget that I have this product with me eyeshadow base are good like if you want to actually make your eyeshadow stay on your lids a little longer but with the weather in Perth being drier than that in Singapore, I don't have a problem with my eyeshadows creasing nor do I have a problem with my eyeshadows like uh, not lasting throughout the day or it changing color or it rubbing off. So this one is underutilized and I have no idea why I bought this in the first place. Maybe I should try and make it work with some of my eye look as I you know try to finish up my products this very next month in the month of September but it is really underutilized and you know just disappointing I regretted buying this I could have put the money that I used for this one into another product which I would love and I would use rather than it sitting in my makeup collection like for ages this is really barely used as you can see like I I just swatched a bit of it for trial purposes and I don't know what's going on in my mind when I bought that anyway the other thing that I regretted buying is also from Canmake and this is a lip concealer it is supposed to conceal your lips of its natural coloring um, when you put on lipstick and it will be like nice color showing instead of you know your original lip color showing underneath this is usually if you use like nude lipsticks and I don't know when I put it on it's like very dry and I think that the lip concealer color will transfer onto my lipsticks which I don't like I'll have like to wipe it off and stuff like that I don't like it so this one I don't use at all and I have no idea why I bought this um, I don't know seriously it could have been invested in something else and the next thing that I bought is this bloom liquid eyeliner glitter liner actually and I thought that hey this is gonna be like really cool really fun and you know it's gonna be nice when I put it on but no um, if you can see um, the one that's above the black liner that is the glitter liner and yeah I mean it is glittery but it almost have no base color and the gel texture um, that it I don't know it, it applies with it's kind of like too heavy like if you apply a normal liquid eyeliner it kind of feel like lightweight and it's nice but with this one I have to apply a liquid eyeliner first let it dry and apply this glittery thing over it and it feels like too much for my eyes and I'm not the type of person who like you know to wear falsies or to wear mascara because of the way it feels on your lashes the way that it weighs down on your eyelids itself not working for me I have no idea why I bought that it could have been invested in something else I hardly use that anymore and the next thing I regret buying is this um, 
liquid eyeliner from Majorica Mojoka. I tried it once and I'm sorely disappointed because the rest of my liquid mascaras, uh, no, not mascara, sorry, um, eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, um, they are pretty pigmented, they are very dark. You can just apply it over your um, eyes once and the color comes out. Now, I know that this one, this dark line that you see here is pretty dark. That's because I've went through it like three times. And it gives this color which is not as dark as my other liquid eyeliners. And I bought this eyeliner because it has like a little bit of glittery or rather shimmer on it. So I thought that it's going to be kind of like fun if it's dark. But no, it's, it's too light for my liking. I like my eyeliners like really dark. So this is not working for me. The next thing that I regret buying is this um, cold pencil by Stage. And I forgot what it was supposed to be. I think it was supposed to be an eyeliner. But I'm very disappointed with this one because when I put it on, the very next thing I know when I reach my office is that it has transferred to the bottom of my eyes. And I actually run into um, a colleague of mine looking like that, like with the eyeliner transferred down to the bottom eye area. I was so embarrassed. I have to rush to the toilet and when I saw it, I rushed back to my bag took out my wet tissues, redid all my makeup from scratch and it's all because of this one. So I'm not sure if you have used stage makeup before and if you have, if this problem ever persists for you because I really hate it when I look like a panda so this is not working for me at all. Last thing that I kind of regret buying but I kind of also use quite a lot of is this Physician's Formula uh, bronzer. It has a um, star right here and it's like gold and the rest of it is like bronzer. I realized that I hate makeup or rather baked makeup with this kind of like color disparity only because I never know when I'm gonna get like the glittery part on my brush when I run through it. It may be heavily on the um, center portion which is like the gold flex kind of thing or it may be very heavy on the um, darker part of it. So I, I don't like I don't like like products with you know that kind of like printed pattern in other colors kind of thing anymore. I would rather get one which is like a solid uni color than like buy color or try colors that I don't know how to work it. Um, so this don't work for me. I don't really like it that much. So in total I have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 products that I regretted buying or I regretted taking over from somebody. So if you have products which you regret buying or you regret taking over from somebody, feel free, leave a message and leave me a video response if you have and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching this one. Bye!